have fun, have fun AIS. And it's fun school. That's why I come back again. It's a important, important chapter in my life, AIS. Jackson Wong, the K-pop celebrity that is currently gaining phenomenal success. If you turn on the TV, you're bound to see him on one of the channels. With his busy schedule, there's almost something that he has to do every single day. Being an international celebrity, it also means that he has to travel to countless places on a regular basis, including Korea, China, Thailand, and the US. Although he has traveled to many places, he has not forgotten his roots, Hong Kong. And the one place that he keeps dear to his heart, AIS. Jackson was an AIS student for six years, from a fourth grader elementary school student to an 11th grader high school junior. In this particular school, he has made many memories with his community, especially his friends, classmates, and teachers. How was Jackson like in school? What type of student was he? Jackson was uh, very humorous. He had a pretty big personality. He was pretty outgoing. <laughs> Uh, he was able to, you know, communicate well with lots of people. He was, yeah, he was, I wouldn't necessarily, he was the strongest academically, but he was definitely a social, strong student that way. He could communicate well with people. Uh, Jackson as a student was uh, very caring and always had a great smile, charismatic personality, and someone that um, students really took, really enjoyed uh, being around and was well liked. Uh, Jackson had a great uh, uh, ability to be able to be friends with others and uh, we knew that Jackson was going places e even early on. He's a very cheerful uh, student, active, yeah, and friendly, lots of friends, and yeah. Um, he was fun-loving, he was um, a student that was Definitely a strong athlete, knew what he wanted um, and pursued his dreams and um, sort of got by with his studies. And he was, he was doing well in his school stuff, but it wasn't ever going to be top of the class. He was a student that was very keen on his own dreams and pursuing them and doing well in sports. Um, and in those kind of areas, he was outstanding. As an AIS alumni, Jackson Wang came back to visit after seven years on the 18th of August, 2018. He spent time walking around the campus and chatting with his teachers. He had a conversation about how he felt when he had to leave everything behind and start a new life in Korea. He was afraid, nervous, and mostly excited. But how did the teachers feel about this decision initially? Were you shocked when he said he was going to audition in Korea? Yeah, we were all shocked actually. We were not expecting that yeah, to come along. So, very surprised. Yeah, a big surprise that he actually left us just one more year to go before he graduated. Well, I'm very skeptical about his decision of leaving college, I mean, high school before going to college and to do something else. It's like uh, he should have fulfilled what he is supposed to be as a basic education before he can do something. So. Well, I'm not looking forward to what he's doing, you know, when he leaves us, yeah. Um, when his decision uh, came uh, about uh, auditioning for K-pop, uh, it came with a great surprise, no doubt. Uh, I think we were all amazed at such a great opportunity for him. And we wondered, particularly, I wondered about his education. I wanted him to be able to know uh, whether they would provide um, him opportunities to finish high school and to go through and even uh, have the options of going to college. Once I knew that that was possible, um, I was very happy to be able to tell Jackson and encourage Jackson to go for his audition and, and to follow his passion. Yeah, it was, I remember, I remember it well, I can still visualize myself um, having a, a sit down meeting with Jackson and his parents. He'd sent me an email saying, uh, Mr. Wing, I need to arrange a meeting to, to chat. Um, it sounded important, so I said, what's, what's it to do? And he said, it's to do with my future. And I thought, oh dear, what's going on? Um, and we talked and he told me that he had an opportunity to go into music and dancing industry. 
and he was going to leave. And this was in February of 2011, and he was still in grade 11, so he still had another year and a bit to go. He wanted to leave that summer. And so I said to him, are you sure you're making the right choice? It's a very competitive industry. Um, I think it's a big risk, Jackson. Fortunately, he didn't listen to me. <laughs> Look at him now. Uh, I remember the conversation well. His parents were anxious, but they supported him. Um, and in the end, at the end, I did see he was determined to do it. So I was saying, look, if anyone can do this, probably it could be you, Jackson, because you are absolutely determined to achieve your goal. But I was surprised because at the time he was dreaming about going to London in the Olympics in 2012. He, he, he was going to be a top athlete with fencing. So he was suddenly changing path and it all happened quite fast. So yeah, it was a surprise. I was very shocked. Uh, and the main reason why I was, was because uh, Jackson was a very successful fencer and he was an Olympian level fencer and he competed at Asian Games and had done very well there. He was ranked at the time in the Junior Olympics as fifth in the world for Sabre. And I remember thinking he was, he was due to go the following year to uh, the Olympics in London. And I remember having a conversation with him saying, you know, you, are you really sure you want to do this? It's very hard to make it as an Olympian. You know, not very many people get to do that. And it's something you'll be, it's a lifelong ambition and you, you are a good fencer and you've got a good chance of doing well. Um, so I was kind of shocked, I, I, and I thought it was a bit, a bit of a risk. Personally, you know, I, I thought he should have done it after he became a fencer. Um, I heard that he had a fencing club. Could you maybe say something about that? Yeah, he did have a fencing club, and it was something that he set up. He uh, spoke to Mr. Wing, from what I understand, prior to moving up to secondary school, and he was saying he wanted to do fencing. Um, so he set that up. Uh, yeah, and he got quite a few students involved in it, and it was it was something that he got going, and it, it worked while he was here. But there was no one who took it on after he left. Yeah, yeah. Jackson uh, came to me uh, early in his time in high school, and he said he wanted to set up a club, and he wanted to run a fencing club. But fencing is tricky because it requires a lot of specialized equipment, um, and. I guess it's quite a specialized sport and not many people have ever done it before so who was really going to be interested in this so I challenged him quite a lot and he came back to me and he managed to get stuff from the Hong Kong Fencing Association he got a few of his friends who were keen to join as well so there was clearly a, a, a membership potential there was clearly a club that was going to run and we had a teacher that was going to rise and it was fabulous we we're off the ground but I said to him, Jackson, why do you think this is going to be popular? Why should we do this? And we actually had a fencing club playing against other schools and things like that. And he said, you know what? I'll get people to come, Mr. Wing. I'll tell them. It will help them become a good dancer. And I think that is quite funny when you look back on it. Because obviously at that stage, whether he was 14, 15, 16, Jackson was all about fencing. But he knew that fencing was going to help him to get skills that were gonna be really important socially or potentially for his future in entertainment, uh, which is what ended up happening. He's a pretty good mover on the dance floor. Maybe that fencing paid dividends. So it was just uh, at the end of school one day and he was playing basketball and this media company was on campus and saw him move and thought, mm, he's obviously got some moves. And they went up to him and said, have you ever thought about a career in dancing and music, maybe? It was a bit of a surprise, and, and they asked him to try out at one of their auditions. He went along and he was signed up. Um, and that launched his opportunity to go to Korea, train and develop his career as it is today and, and, and get into GOT7. So he was pointing out the very spot where it happened, which is a popular spot amongst high school students still today. Uh, playing basketball near the lockers, you never know. <laughs> it could happen to you. As of right now, do you still feel the same about his decision? Is it the right one for him now? Uh, I think it is the right decision now. Um, obviously, he went and did it. Um, and actually, having had a conversation with him when he was in on the weekend, what I didn't realize at the time was was that he had an opportunity and it was a limited time opportunity. I sort of knew that, but it was really clear on the weekend when he came in that he couldn't afford to wait until after the Olympics. And it was something he was passionate about and he really wanted to do. So, 
yeah, I'm, I, it was the right decision. He's obviously been very successful. He's doing incredibly well. Uh, and uh, he's obviously got a bright future. And he's, he's set himself a lot of goals and targets and things he still wants to do. And he's enjoying it. That's the main thing I got from when I spoke to him on the weekend. He's enjoying it. He's very busy, but it's uh, an enjoyable busy. So I, I think, yeah, it's, it is definitely the right decision now. Yeah. Uh, I was very happy to see Jackson succeed. A few years later, he came back to the school and thanked me for encouraging him and being one of the few people that really demonstrated um, support at that time. Um, but definitely, uh, Jackson was one that really had a strong desire to do this for himself, and he made these things happen. Um, and he had, it was great to be able to see that then and, and continue today. Uh, so definitely, I think that it's been the right decision for him. You can find see in how much joy he's had in the music profession and how much happiness he's experienced since he's left our school. Um, and to be able to see the young, young man that he is today is, is in tribute for his um, dedication to his craft and becoming a great music, musician and an entertainer. Um, I'm very happy to, to know that Jackson's been a success. Well, after looking at what he has done, his success, I think uh, he has chosen the right path and he has fulfilled his dreams and chasing his dreams to be a, one of the entertainer. I think, yeah, this is the right choice for him. I'm happy for him. Yeah, he's, he's got a, a very likeable personality and people enjoy watching him. And that has helped him in uh, his band to be a fun character. And it's why I think he's popular on um, social media and YouTube. Um, and he is clearly very successful, so he's got a good, bright future ahead of him. Um, and I was pleased to see, I think he is remaining grounded. He's, he's still someone who knows where he came from and uh, hasn't forgotten his family and his people around him. And I think that's an important step. Wherever you go in life, you've, you, need, you need good foundations and hold on to that rather than think you can do it yourself. Um, recognize the family and the friends around you and they're always the same people you're still the same person you're probably if you can keep that together you're, you're more likely to um, to be able to cope with whatever fame brings you is there anything else you'd like to add yeah I think Jackson is an interesting one to to, to talk about he he's obviously like I said he is a very determined young man and I, I think sometimes that's very hard to see. It, it's really interesting knowing Jackson from as a student and seeing the public persona. I, I think a lot of people don't see the hard work that's gone on behind the scenes. Uh, there is an incredible amount of hard work that he's had to put in. He works incredibly hard. He's doing incredibly long hours. Uh, one of the things he was saying to me was, for sleep, a lot of the time, he's sleeping when he's flying to new destinations. He's sleeping on the plane. He's not getting much sleep because when he turns up at a venue, he's got to do, uh, you know, promotion work. He's got to do, you know, venues. He's got to do this. He's got to practice. He's got to go gym. He's got to eat right. He's got to do this. He's got to do that. So there's an awful lot that's going on in his life. And, and I, I think you can do that if you have that determination in place to do it and that drive and, and I think that's the key thing that people need to understand is that the, the, the image you see on TV and the image you see there doesn't show the hard work he puts in he puts an incredible amount of hard work into what he's doing he is a, he is a very easy person to communicate with he's confident and he just wants to have fun and that's what I see when he's in front of the camera um, and you saw when we were with him the other day how I said to him about all the dancing that he does and all the flips and I said I, I, I just want to see the flip and, and so straight away he, he wanted to perform the flip and that's him he, he doesn't hold back he will entertain and, and that's why he's successful Yeah, I was speaking to Jackson on the weekend about this, and, and one of the, the key things he says, and, and I agree with him on this completely, and I noticed this when I was away, when I left last year, was the community here looks after each other. Um, and they, there are things that happen in this school that if I worked in other schools and the schools I've worked in, those students would be laughed at. 
Um, but here they don't do that the community looks after people it's, it's a very loving environment and it's a very caring environment and that I think is important because what that as Jackson was saying on the weekend it helps shape him as a person of who he is and one of the things I did when I when he was in on the weekend was was I had a conversation with uh, his makeup artist that he's had for the last year and I said oh does he treat you right and he wasn't there at the time and she said yes he's very good to me and I said good because that's what we wanted from our students you know if you look at what we we have on the emblem for the school you know there's a good part there and 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 he has got those those pieces in place so I, I think yes the school did help him to you know to get those um, you know words that are on that emblem in place and and using them on a regular basis yeah I think uh, he has a good um, education here yeah which molds his character and his personality all right so he will be a good person uh, a better person even though he's in the entertainment scene I think AIS besides being providing a basic education for Hong Kong students and other students from the world uh, apart from the conventional academic path students could also move on all right, to succeed and excel in other areas and Jackson is a very good example that we have produced yeah that mean, it doesn't mean that it must have uh, gone through a college to finish a tertiary education then it could be a successful personality I think Jackson proved it to us yeah AIS could produce something someone like Jackson even though he didn't finish his college education but he's successful yeah, and he made it mm. this is what AIS could do for other students. Being uh, educated in AIS, I think given him a very good base yeah, for what he could do now in the, in the media yeah, as an entertainer. I think AIS has a, uh, a small, close-knit family feel to it. And it's that supportive environment that nurtures and enables students to feel comfortable here, to be themselves, to find who they want to be and to grow and develop as young adolescents and adults. And I think a safe school, a safe environment where people can take risks and not feel too embarrassed because fundamentally as a teenager it's a tough time. High school can be a tough time. I think AIS gives people a chance to take risks and um, find themselves. And Jackson did. The other day he came back and, and he was telling us, you know, I don't need to come back to AIS. And, and, and people ask me, why do I throw out the AIS uniform when I'm in my concerts? And, and he does this. Um, he says, it's because I grew up here. I felt at home here. This is like family. I felt cared for. Um, I think those are important qualities. And I think they are characteristics that still stand true today to the kind of program AIS provides for students. Uh, just keep doing what he's doing. He's he's doing very well. He, he's, uh, you know, he's been highly successful. Um, look out for himself a little bit, um, you know, which he's doing. I think he's got his head in the right place. Treat the people who you work with well because they will look after you. And, uh, you know, just keep doing what you want to do and keep doing what you enjoy. And if it's not enjoyable, then, you know, move on. Find something else to do. You, you, you can do that. You've got that determination to do that. I'm been very happy to be able to follow his success uh, to see uh, the great things that he's accomplished and to in the world it's quite a thrill and I would tell him to continue to be true to his morals and, and values and and show and continue to show integrity in all that he does and to remember those who care about him uh, beyond fame and and that his parents and those like myself really care about him and he can always reach out to me um, in friendship and I'm always happy to be his friend. So I'm grateful to see Jackson do, so, do outstandingly well and I wish him the very best. Go ahead and do us proud. Yeah, keep continuing uh, to do what you're doing and I think you're uh, a good success yeah, for us as an example, especially for AI students. Just follow what your heart thinks about and just do whatever you think you believe you can. Yeah, nothing is impossible. Congratulations. Very, very impressed, very proud of the success that he is achieving and we wish him all the best as his career develops. 
Um, and thank you for remembering us, coming back, continue to do so. We hope whenever you're in Hong Kong, you will come back. Maybe the AIS students will get to see a special performance from Jackson one day. Students in AIS, uh, I just feel like, just go after your dream, like be brave to, to, to go after what you want to do in life. And be sure to get your academics first, get your education first, and pursue on, on, on the stuff that you want to do in life. And ne never regret, it's the, this is the thing, when you're 80 years old, don't look back in your life and be like, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. Make sure there's no regret and just keep fighting for, 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 for your dream. Be, be, be hungry at what you want, never regret. Love you guys. And tell these guys your your memories, AIS. What do you think about the school we're at? This school Why would. Be today? I mean, education is important, but I feel like um, maybe I'm not in a position to, to teach anybody or, or to even say anything. But I feel like education is important, but make sure you have fun in in in, in, in high school. Uh, when you don't know something, like don't don't. Don't feel like left out, because I don't know. Like to me, AIS. If you if you if you're in this school, there's no way that you can be left out. Like everyone's interacting with each other, like like on another level. So yeah, just have fun in high school. It'll be it'll be probably better than college. Yeah. Have fun and don't copy homework from your friends. Don't copy homework. And if you do, make sure you buy them lunch. Okay. <laughs> have fun, have fun AIS. It's fun school. That's why I come back again. It's an important, important chapter in my life, AIS. I feel like AIS is a place, uh, it plays a very important role in my life. And, and to be honest, I don't have to come back. Like, if I, if, if, it, if I didn't have a good time, I could have just, you know, forget it, you know. But the reason why I came back and I always bring this topic up in, in, in most of the interviews uh, when they ask about my school is because I feel, I feel like it, it's like a family. It's more than just a school. And, and, and the relationship, well, apart from the education, which is good, uh, I feel like the interaction between uh, students and teachers and all the all the staff e even the lunch ladies it's just the bonding and, and I felt that I, 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 I I'm I'm being I'm I'm loved I feel I feel loved you know like that's why it really uh, I really clicked and then, thank you, thank you so much. I'm blessed that I, I have a chance to attend to this school because when I was in grade three, I was in another international school, and, and I got here and in grade four actually, and I came here, and everything changed. Thank you. Yes. Now, yeah. Fenomen, Fenomen, 